All right, so today on Repairs 101, I've got one you're going to want to see. I take an ordinary rat trap and repurpose it into an automatic door closer. And don't forget, you saw it here first. About a year ago, I got a puppy and I made her a play area out of the back porch, but she was always leaving the door wide open, and it's kind of a drag in the winter. Now, I've heard YouTubers are a pretty smart group, so I'm just going to assume that y'all know what a door is and how it works, and I'm just going to skip over that part of the tutorial. Alright, the first thing I did was to remove the hold down bar and the catch. Now, this next part's a bit sketchy. I'm sure you can find a better way to do this. Seriously, if you're not 100% confident with power tools, or if you're at all litigious, I suggest you look away for the next few seconds. Now, I admit I picked kind of a lousy place to install it, it's too close to the fire extinguisher. But I wanted it high enough to be away from the dog, and low enough to be clear of the blinds, and to give a more or less centralized push on the door itself. So after I removed a small piece of door trim, I eyeballed the door closer's kick plate into place. And then yeah, I did the unthinkable again, I used power tools on a loaded spring trap. So I don't know, just look away. So after that, all I had to do was cut away the tape that was holding down the spring, and my rat trap automatic door closer is in action, and it works terrific. Alright, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and if you like today's episode, please share with your friends.